It's a beautiful day here. Hope it's a beautiful day where you are too. I'm out for a walk and enjoying the warmth and the sunlight and the air and the birds. And I was doing this metta practice and I thought I would share it with you all. I've not done one of these walk and talk video logs before, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, so I love to do metta when I'm out and about because there's a lot of people and a lot of trees and plants and animals as well. And I love to use the people and the plants and the animals as the basis for metta practice. It just, it's like, I can be happy loving all these beings while I'm walking around. Uh, how delightful. And uh, there's a lot of ways to do metta practice, but I've recently been doing this one that I really, really enjoy. It makes me look a little bit weird, but I'm totally past that. And uh, see, I'm sending some metta to a dude right now. <laughs> and um, anyway, yeah, so with metta practice, there's a few basic elements. The general intention is to wish others well, wish them happiness, uh, or yourself, or all beings. It doesn't really matter who it's directed towards. Um, and you can do that in a variety of ways. Uh, one way is to use mental talk. A phrase like, may you be happy, uh, is, a good, is a good default, but you can really use any phrase. And you can also use visualization. So, um, this technique is primarily for me like a one that involves visualizations. I'll basically hold that intention to wish happiness towards others. And, uh, you know, it might be this tree that I'm passing right now and or a car, the driver of a car going by. I'll just have the intention. Like it, sometimes I might use the phrase, may you be happy, but it, it's basically that intention. May this person be happy. Uh, may they be fulfilled, whatever. You know, it, it doesn't necessarily need to have auditory content, but I have that intention. And then uh, I'll sort of visualize myself as a being of love and maybe have light in my body and uh, it's streaming out of my limbs. So typically I'll have it streaming out of my hands and my fingers. Uh, and then I can use that to direct it to others. So. Uh, often, so this this is the really fun part, uh, is that I'll use gestures to send the love towards others. And it's, you know, the, the love is coming out of my hands, these, these lights, and uh, hi. hi. May you be happy. There's two living beings right there, a baby and a mom, so may they be happy. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it looks a little weird because I'm like, may you be happy. Uh, so sometimes I'm a little stealthier about it. And sometimes, you know, I'm just like totally going for it. And uh, the other variable that I really like to add in is uh, <clears throat> music. So this, this goes really well with music. Meta and dance, I think we're just born to go together. And um, yeah, meta and dance go together really well. And uh, dance music or any kind of music in general that's sort of loving, uh, that has a beat to it, goes very well with this. So I'll put on my headphones, I'll be listening to music, and I'll be just like, phew, 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 sending metta and love to all the living beings that I see. And, uh, you know, can use trees or plants or animals or anybody, or, or even towards, uh, you know, friends or family members or any living being in any place and time, I can visualize them, even if they're not physically located there. And I just have a grand old time walking down the street, listening to good music. May you be happy, friend. Uh, sending people love. And uh, it looks a little weird the way I do it, but I love it. It's fun. It's more fun. It's like I'm rediscovering how to play like I did when I was a kid. And it has this loving, wholesome intention. And I feel happier while I do it. And I feel more alive and in my body. And it's great. And I hope you give it a try too, because you might feel those things too. So uh, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And lots of love to you too, friend.